Hi guys, today's video is going to be a review of the e.l.f. Modern Metals Collection Palettes. And this is the one that I showed you guys like a week ago. I've used it like four times, so I think that I'm ready to give you a review. So, um, I want to start with the lipstick. Okay, the liquid lip is a beautiful shade, but it's the most drying lipstick I have ever put on my lips. And it swatches really pretty and like full coverage. But when you do it on your lips, I had to go like twice because it was very patchy. Now, as soon as this dries on your lips, it's almost like you feel your lips shrinking because it is so drying and I'm not exaggerating. It's very uncomfortable. It shows every line that you have on your lips. So it's not very forgiving. And I don't think that my lips have real, very deep lines, but, and this is with the Algenist eye treatment underneath. I tried it with that, I tried it with a lip balm, and it's the same thing. So I don't like it, and this is the kind of uh, lipstick that after you wear for a few hours, it gets like kind of like, um, like it breaks apart around your inner mouth, lips, whatever, and it feels like your lips are peeling. I don't like that. So today, I want you guys to see the shade, which is a beautiful shade, and it stays on for a long time. I use this over it because I can't stand the dryness. And even with the uh, lip gloss, which, I mean, I can wear lip, this lip gloss all over the lipstick, all over my lips every day, but it, even this doesn't help it. It stays just as dry. And this is very pretty, but I just put it in the center of my lip, and it looked pretty, but, I mean, to me, it's not like an everyday look. Uh, so I put this Neutrogena, and this is a moisture smooth color stick, and this is beautiful. I have several, a couple of colors on this one. And these are like $8 or something like that. This is a number 120. And this is more like a, a balm, but it is very pigmented. And you do have to reapply, but um, it's very easy to reapply. And I've used this several times, but, you know, some people think it's funny because my lipsticks, my lip pencils, they always keep the shape because when I use them, I kind of use them on the side. So I, I never lose a little pointy. Because I have a friend of mine that hers is like, you know, like almost all rounded. And my, she goes, how do you do that? I said, because I don't use it. It's almost like I keep sharpening it the way that I use my lipsticks. But anyway, so these are very nice. This is a no-go. So even if this sell this on its own, I do not recommend it. You would definitely have to put some kind of a lip balm over it. Or some kind of a moisturizing lip gloss by itself is super super uncomfortable okay so as far as the eyeshadows I have made like well like I said four different looks um, the only color that I have not used is the blue one but let's just start by saying that the first thing that this eyeshadow palette is missing is a deep brown and I noticed this the first time I went to go do an eye look with this. I always like to use a deep color, like a deep berry or, um, you know, uh, purple or brown. I don't use black that often, but I like something deep to use on my outer V. And this is, this doesn't have it. This is the darkest color that it has. So I use this one as, I, as my transition shade today. And this is very nice. Then I use this one as my crease shade, this transition crease. This one is a beautiful color, this green one. That is so pretty. I use that on, on the center on my lid. Then I use this one on the inside of my lid and on this little corner right here. And I use the purple one. On my lower lid over here just a little bit they're all very buttery the first time I used this palette I did my eyes first because I didn't know how much fallout I was gonna have I didn't have any um, they're powdery when you go in with a brush but if you tap your brush off which I always do you don't get any fallout so it's very nice that way uh, very pigmented, so you you have to go very lightly with the brush, or you will end up with a lot of shadow on your eyelid. So um, definitely, I would recommend the eyeshadow palette if they 
sold it for like between eight and ten dollars i definitely think it's worth it if they sold it on its own it's very nice and buttery i've used uh, two different primers with it i used the uh, smashbox yeah smashbox <laughs> didn't sound right when i said it eye primer and i also use today the milani and i use the milani with you know very often with high-end drugstore whatever and it works fine so it seems to work with every primer the face palette and at first I thought this was a bronzer but it's not um, it's three blushes and three highlighters now none of them have a mirror which is you know take it or leave it I mean it's kind of nice sometimes to have a mirror in case you're doing something in the car or you know you want to carry something in your purse that has a mirror but you know doing it at home it really doesn't matter so I used this color on my outer corner today to make it a little darker and I think it did a good job doing that then I use both of these as my blushes again very pigmented so you have to go very lightly on your um, on your cheeks the first time I used it uh, I didn't realize how pigmented it was and I had to really blend it out because it was super dark then I used both of these highlighters together. I mixed them and I used them right here and in my inner corner. Again, very pigmented. Um, you have to find the right balance for you. If you pick up very little product, you can hardly see it. If you pick up too much product, it's super bright and it does accentuate the, uh, if you have enlarged pores or any kind of texture on your face. So you have to, you know start slow and build it and uh, I always use a um, finishing spray because that seems to just melt everything into my face and it helps with the uh, texture and showing other pores but this is a very nice palette again I think this is worth eight to ten dollars so the only thing that I think I would skip if they sold them individually is these two I mean this one is super glittery but and I do like glosses like this and I do have some that are like Becca and um but they're not this is like a like dry like the Becca ones are very moisturizing and even though they have glitter they're not like you know bam in your face they, they look beautiful over lipsticks but they're not this one is like too exaggerated whoops so I'm not gonna throw this one away. Will I use it? Yeah, I think I'll put some like in the middle and kind of tap it with my finger. This, no, I will not use it. I refuse to use products that I have to make work. Everything that you buy to put on your face should work the way it's supposed to. You shouldn't have to use other products to make it work. Then what is the use? I'll just use the other product that worked without anything. So, no, I don't like this. This is no bueno. So overall, if you feel that these three products are worth it, uh, I would get it. The regular price is $30. I don't know if I would pay $30 for it. I got it 20% off, so I got it for $24. And I think it's worth the $24. Um, I think these two are very good quality. The packaging is cute. I mean, it's not when you, when you feel it, when you touch it, it's not high quality. Um, it's a plastic with two hinges. I mean, it's right up there with, um, revolution, makeup revolution packaging. Like I said, I've never had, I, I have the regular blush packaging for their blushes. The one that is the black one and that one, I think is better packaging than this. And those individual blushes, I think are like maybe $5 or something like that, which are very nice. First time I used their eyeshadow. Uh, palette and it's very very nice um, I do like it but it's up to you if you think it's worth the money or not and like I said I wish it had a deeper brown so anytime that I use it I mean unless I'm just doing something super super subtle I would have to pull a darker color from another palette so that's my thoughts on that so what I'm wearing today I'm using the Physicians Formula uh, brightening complex and this is the healthy foundation SPF 20 and this is in MN3 and I love this foundation this is like a medium coverage I would say and I don't know how much I have it's kind of hard to see through these bottles how much you have left but I do use it pretty often um, 
I like it. You know, I think it blends well. It lasts pretty long. And when it wears off, it wears off nicely instead of, you know, like some of them, you can tell that it's breaking apart on your face. This doesn't do that. Um, it's not matte and it's not shiny. So it's just perfect. It's perfect for a medium, if you want medium coverage. If you're looking for something that is, oh gosh, my legs fall asleep, guys. If you want something that's full coverage, this is not it. But if you're happy with medium coverage, then this works. And I have to film in my room because I feel like I can concentrate a little more than in the living room. My, my dad is on the recliner and um, he's sleeping. So I do a better job here. So excuse that I have to do it here, but that's what I have to do right now. So um, for the uh, concealer, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I love this concealer. This is, I find it moisturizing and it gives me great coverage without drying out my under eye. Cause some of them get so dry that you can really see all the texture and the fine lines. This one does a great job for me. Um, you know, don't, even though it doesn't look shiny under my eyes, it still gives me enough moisture that it keeps everything in place. Uh, this is in the shade Light Medium Cool. And usually all my concealers are in like a light medium. The powder that I'm using is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. And this is very inexpensive. I think it's like three or four dollars. I think it's like three ninety nine. And it doesn't, even though it's white, it doesn't give you, now I haven't taken flash photography, so I don't know if it's going to give you a flashback, but it doesn't give you um, like a white cast on your makeup. It's very finely milled. And it does a good job. I sit under my eyes with it and use it on the rest of my face also. Uh, my eyelashes are the uh, Lash Princess by Essence. And on my eyebrows is the um, Maybelline Total Temptations and the NYX Control Freak. And that's it. Now I wanted to say, mention two things for you guys. I posted a video yesterday that when... After I finished doing it and I was doing my editing, there was parts that were not focused and I could go in back and forth whether to post a video or not. It's the second time that I've recorded that haul video. I didn't want to do it a third time and um, I was tired. So I, I said, you know what? It's not so bad, I'll post it. So I went ahead and I posted it. I thought, and I always try to pay attention when I do my editing, but um, I had a lot of distractions and then um, it was brought to my attention, which I am so glad that it was, that one of my clips had a duplicate. I posted the same clip twice, which okay, happens, no big deal. Um, I still received a lot of lovely comments from you people, from everyone, from all of your subs my subscribers. You guys is what keeps me going and, um, and I'm glad that that was brought to my attention because I to begin with, my gut feeling was not even to post the video. And I want to post quality videos. I don't want to post um, just to post. And I want to get more subscribers. I don't want to lose the subscribers that I have. And if I clicked, if I was new and I clicked on a video like that, I probably would not subscribe. So I did take the video down. And um, not because someone brought it to my attention, because I really truly am so appreciative that it was brought to my attention. And I would do that for a friend. If I saw that they posted a video that was, you know, funky, I think that as a friend, I would like to tell them that, hey, were you aware of this? If you're aware, it's okay, it's no big deal, but I just thought you should know. So it's not that it was brought to my attention. I really do appreciate and love the person that brought it up to my attention, so that's not it. I should have gone my gut feeling and not posted it at all. Anyway, so that's it. I took it down because I wasn't happy with it. Now, the second thing I want to share with you guys is I want to have a giveaway for Halloween. And it's going to be kind of like a trick-or-treat thing. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I'm giving away. I'm going to, po to uh, have three winners on this giveaway. And it's going to be a surprise. Now, I'm only going to do this for the Uni my United States subscribers because I am having three winners. And, you know, it's going to be expensive if I have to ship overseas. So this is only for U.S. subscribers. So um, all you have to do is tell me on the video that you want to um, to enter the giveaway. And what I'll do is um, on the 30th, I will, 
It works going to run through the 30th, the end of the 30th. And then on the 31st, I will post a video letting you know who we, who wins the treats. So it's going to be a surprise. Three winners on the 31st. And on that day, as I use the app to pull the winners, I will show you what each person wins. So um, I wish you luck. Uh, I encourage you to enter. Uh, I don't care whether you are a, a video, you know, creator or not. You know, everyone is welcome to enter. If you support me, then you, please do, you know, enter the giveaway. So um, I'm excited about this. I'm going to try to pick some really cool stuff for you guys. You know, happy Halloween. Good trees from Clara. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. And if you want me to create a look with this elf, um, the elf products, the, uh, the face and the eye palette, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do so. If not, I do have so many other palettes that I do need to create looks with that, you know, and I have some other requests. So, but let me know. I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. So I love you. Uh, have an awesome weekend and I will see you on my next video. Bye.